the Self-Reg 6x6 series for schools, we're looking at how you know when you're a Self-Reg leader. So these are just six things that I've noticed about Self-Reg school leaders. One, they reframe 360 degrees. And by that, I mean they understand Self-Reg. They know how to reframe stress behavior and recognize it as such, not just in children, but in, in colleagues, in staff, teachers, educational assistants, the bus driver, uh, the parents, the community. So they were constantly reframing. Two, they find ways to lower stress loads. And so they see part of their role as lightening these, the extra stressors. So those things across all five domains, biological, emotion, cognitive, social, and pro-social is a big one for our, our teams. They find ways um, to, to lighten loads, things that could be easier. They make them easier so that, that their team has more left over to be the self regulars they need to be. Three, they think about the pause. So the pause in terms of well-being, right? I love the idea of think, remembering that well is a, so sort of from the outdoor well, the water well, and recognizing that that we need to draw on that. If we're talking about well-being and self reg we need to draw on the wellness. So they, they find the pause in everything they do. Four, they look at team cohesion. Team cohesion is everything, and it's not through the one major event you put on once a year. It's the micro events. Every single opportunity that the team has to come together on something that's challenging, they overcome it and move on, and that's a really big key. Five, team restoration. This is not just about surviving stress, coping with, dealing with. It's also about restoring balance, restoring energy, and finding those ways to genuinely fill up the tanks. And six, they're oh so human. And by that, I mean not perfect. It, it's a journey for all of us. They're willing to be vulnerable and put themselves out there as people on this self right journey as well. They walk their talk, they're looked at, and again, not perfect, but if you make a mistake, you find a way to come back and, and restore from that, restore the relationship, take the learning away from it that you can. We all have red brains. They treat children with respect. They treat the colleagues with respect. They treat their staff, the community with respect, even when they they're coming from a different mindset, a self-control mindset, whatever. They, they find a way to see the human in it and find the connection.